Hello, welcome to a quick tutorial video. In this video, we are gonna learn how to reset a, our, our Skybell, our video doorbell. We would be doing this when we have a new Wi-Fi network and we wanna reprogram it, or if our camera's just being weird and we can't pull it up on our phone and we may need to reprogram it. So uh, we'll be doing this by factory resetting the camera, deleting it out of our system, and then re-adding it onto our system. So to factory default our camera, all we have to do is push and hold the button here let me get a little close up of that. It'll ring, that's normal. And we just push and hold. And we have to wait literally about one minute. As we hold it down, the light will change colors. First it'll go to like some kind of bluish and it'll start flashing green. And then it'll start flashing red green. We keep on holding it down. And eventually it'll start flashing yellow. I'm gonna go ahead and just pause the video and we'll jump right to flashing yellow. Okay, here we are a minute later, and now we are flashing yellow. After we are flashing yellow, we let go of the button. It'll light up yellow just like that. And then after a little wait, it'll start to flash a couple other colors, and then finally end up flashing red-green. This means the doorbell is now reset and is ready to be added onto our app. And here we are flashing red-green. So we're gonna go ahead and jump over to the app now and add it onto our system. After we are done factory resetting our camera, next we open up our app and we select the space that's marked doorbell camera. Then we hit the little gear on the upper corner and we go down and delete the camera, delete this device. Make sure of course if we have multiple cameras that we are on the correct camera. We hit delete. And now we re-add a camera. To add a camera, we just follow the instructions on the screen, hit the plus here. It'll say select which video device. We picked whichever one we have. So we had that one out there. Install hardware. Verify LED. That was flashing red and green. So we hit next. Give it a name. Then we hit next. And now we need to jump over to our Wi-Fi settings and connect to the Wi-Fi that the doorbell is generating. So we go from the top and pull up our Wi-Fi settings and we look for our Skybell. There it is. Skybell and a bunch of numbers. We select that. And after a quick minute, it'll connect. Depending on the model phone you have, your phone may throw an error about there not being internet we just need to say, stay connected. And then we switch back to our alarm.com app. And from here, we can pick whatever Wi-Fi we want to be connected to. So we're gonna connect to our Wi-Fi. We're gonna pause here to put in the password. After we have typed in our password and hit next, we are then dropped at this screen. And this process, it says, it says here, this process may take a few minutes. And all we need to do is sit here and stare at it. During this time, you can set your phone down and go do something else. But after a little wait, we get this main entry, waiting for camera to connect to the network 10%, at which point our camera LED should change from blinking red green to blinking orange and then finally to blue, flashing blue-green, and then finally go solid green. At that point, this uh, little process meter will go through a few things. It'll say connecting, wait, connecting up to the camera at 20% and then configuring a bunch of stuff. And then it'll go into doing a preview of the camera. We're gonna go ahead and skip right to the end. And here we are. Now we just simply hit next. We can go ahead and get a preview by hitting the little button there to bring up a preview. I'll take a sec for it to connect. There we go. So we hit next. Now we need to turn, make sure we re-enable all of our notifications because removing the doorbell completely removed any notifications or settings we had. So we have to hit next to enable it. 
and then make sure we turn on the doorbell motion in order to enable the recordings and then we are done and we simply press done and we're done thanks for watching please be sure to check out our other videos on how to troubleshoot and solve our alarm systems